Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Ross. I can tell by the look on your face that most of you have never heard of me or my hotel. I am sorry to say that over time, both my lodge and I have both evolved into oblivion. However, on this very spot in 1835, I built a two-story structure of substantial size with a wide front porch. The upstairs had a massive hall with several small bedrooms on each side. The hall was used for meetings and also for occasional traveling shows that came to the town. Uh, as the town grew, so the hotel evolved. When, Kosciuszko, when the name of the town was changed to Kosciuszko, the hotel became the Kosciuszko Hotel. In the 1850s, on the wide porch here, many notables such as Jefferson Davis, future president of the Confederacy, John A. Quitman, then governor of Mississippi, and Henry S. Foote, the United States Senator, delivered their speeches. There were also several tragic events at the hotel. In February 1856, C.S. Lunsbury, editor and proprietor of the Kosciuszko Chronicle, and also a boarder here at the hotel, was assassinated by a man named Richard Payne. Mr. Lunsbury only lived a few moments after being shot with a double barrel shotgun. Mr. Payne escaped and was never caught. In 1862, a squad of Texas Cavalry came to Kosciuszko about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. One of the officers, a Lieutenant Barnett, began to drink and got wild and dangerous while under the influence. He started riding his horse into the stores, shooting his pistol into the merchandise, uh, and also trying to ride over several civilians in the street, including a James T. Smith, a Confederate soldier, on crutches from the Battle of Shiloh. Mr. Smith retired to his room at the hotel after the incident. Meanwhile, the Texans had ordered supper and were waiting out here on the porch for the, while it was being prepared. Then a gunshot rang out from a side room, killing Lieutenant Barnett. This caused the wildest excitement throughout the town and drew the intense rage of the, of the Texans, threatened to burn down the hotel. But Captain Sam T. Young was home on furlough and talked them out of it. It is said that Smith had a fast horse in the rear and during all the ex excitement made his escape. The Texans came back a few months later but were never able to capture Mr. Smith. Lieutenant Barnett is buried in the city cemetery. In the 1920s, the wholesale was sold to Mr. and Ms. M.W. Lowe. Bob Thoreau was the chef of the hotel kitchen. And at 12 noon, a, dinner, a bell would ring to notify the folks that the dinner was being served. The old, the old hotel survived for 103 years when it burned in 1938. Uh, the, uh, at that time, this present building was built and run by Morgan Lynch's for several years. Uh, we have a very historic place here in this town, and I've only told you a few stories that these walls could tell you. I remain your humble servant, Richard Ross. <laughs>